Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to Dirt Bike Channel. I'm your host, Kyle Brothers, and today we're gonna weigh the 2020 Sherco 300 SEF factory. Stick around. So those of you that have been around for a while, you know how this works. I weigh all of these bikes with my commercial shipping scale, which is, well, I can't reach it there, which here's the, here's the display for it right here. I take a bike that is completely stock and then I fill it full of fuel, make sure it's got you know full fluids, fuel, oil, all that stuff, and then I weigh it exactly how it comes stock. So we did this bike, uh, a version of this bike back in 2017, um, but I don't think it had the Akrapovich exhaust, and I know it certainly didn't have a factory installed fan. So this one does have a fan. I mean, the other one had an exhaust, but this one has a fan. So it's gonna be interesting to see how much this bike weighs in comparison because it's three year, three model years newer. So Sherco has just come out with their 2021s. They probably won't hit you know, dealers until like around November, December time or, or who knows. But this is the crop, this is the Sherco that I just bought and we'll begin to set up and start riding. So let's take a peek and see how much she weighs. Okay, so the results are that it weighs 253.0 pounds full of fuel with everything else stock components on the bike, which is 114.8 kilograms. So 253 pounds, 114.8 kilograms. That's exciting because that means that this bike got seven and a half pounds lighter in the last three years. The last time I tested the Sherco 300 SEF factory was in 20, the 2017 model and it was 260.5 pounds. This one is seven and a half pounds lighter. I should also mention, because I do this all the time, and it was the original Sherco that, got, that taught me this, Weight on the scale does not exactly translate to weight on the trail. The other Sherco that I weighed that you know was 260.5 pounds, it was technically the heaviest bike I think that I'd maybe even ever weighed on this particular scale, but it did not feel heavy. It was not a heavy feeling bike at all. It felt very light and very nimble when I was riding it. So just keep that in mind. But it is nice to know that it got seven pounds lighter, even though this one has a radiator fan, which the other bike did not. So how much the Akrapovich uh, exhaust, maybe this helped some having, but this is a massive silencer. Like this is super massive, but maybe it is a little bit lighter than you know the other exhaust that the other bike had. I don't know. Um, so, but it's pretty exciting. This one does also have a skid plate on it. Now, it isn't a skid plate that covers the linkage, but it does have a skid plate, so that is something to take note of. It does have hand guards, but they're super light hand guards. So, this is this should be a really fun bike to try. It's got the KYB forks. It's got some really sweet, uh, you know, blue uh, rims on it. It's got like kind of a blue purple frame to this bike, so it's gonna be really cool. I'm gonna shoot some uh, shots of this bike right now before I start setting it up, and then the, the, the goal over the next few days is just to start setting this bike up. And I put, I'm gonna put radiator uh, braces on it. I've got some radiator uh, guards from Bulletproof Designs uh, that we're gonna put on there. I've also got a, uh, a chain guide guard for this and I need to get, I still need to get the, um, the rear disc guard. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna use Bulletproof Designs for that too because they're just super awesome products. But yeah, we're gonna get this thing set up and start testing it. This will be one of the giveaway bikes that I do later in the year. So think October, November, December timeframe. Hopefully I'll have the review of this bike wrapped up long before that time, because we wanna be offering some additional bikes at that time in that sweepstakes. But this bike is going to be really, really fun to test with. I'm gonna put tubeless on the bike. I'm gonna change these, these tires out. I already know I don't like these tires. I've had them enough to know. These are the Michelin Enduro tires. This is not my favorite tire by any means, but I'll put some tires on there that I'm very comfortable with for the review front and rear. That way, when I test these bikes, I can at least take one variable out. I can take out the tires uh, and I, take, you know, I can take out tubes because it's like I'm testing all the bikes with the same tires on them which is, seems to be a great way to do it. So there you go, guys, 253 pounds, 114.8 kilograms. That's how much she weighs, full of fuel and ready to ride. If you like these videos and wanna support Dirt Bike Channel but you don't wanna pay, like directly pay me, the easiest way to do that is to use the links down in the video description or you can go to dirtbikechannel.com right now. Up in the upper right hand corner, there's a links button up there. You click on that and then there's links to Rocky Mountain ATV, Motors Rocky Mountain ATV, Motorsport, Amazon, and I think that's it. 
So as you buy parts for your bikes, whether it's tools or tires or handguards or, or grips or whatever, you can use my links and that gives a referral bonus to me, which helps to support my family. So I think that's all I've got for you guys. There will be lots more content coming out on this bike over the next few months until I finally do a full review of the bike in many months from now, because that's how I roll with these things. So until next time, thanks for watching and leave a single track. Thanks.